So, so. <laughs> you know, Ron DeSantis, uh, his big... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he gets booed here every day. Uh, see what it could take. I don't understand how you, you do this big announcement and you haven't checked to see if, it could, if capacity well, could be met. But it just shows you that he's not ready for prime time, you know? And not ready for prime time. Okay, but Joe Biden, who you adore, <laughs> literally hid in his basement the entire election. And he refuses to answer questions from reporters, but oddly, you don't have any criticisms about him not being ready for prime time. <laughs> or any time, really. Well, it's all a culture war that. for him. Yeah. He hasn't got a plan. I don't no see plan. one plan on the table from the Republican we, we, Party. Mmm, yeah, Joy read the New York Times and watched 15 minutes of MSNBC. And neither of those outlets explained to her what the Republican platform is. So, clearly, they don't have one. I think his problem is he's too online. He thinks right-wing Twitter is real life, and wake up, folks, it's, it's not. It's 20% of America. It's, yeah, that, that's not real life. What people are talking about is pocketbook issues. It's inflation, being able to pay their bills, getting, sending their kids to college. There was not really any of that. It was More importantly, he didn't talk about pocketbook issues. <laughs> this guy's a joke. I mean, seriously, not one word about inflation or the economy? Huh, what an idiot. We must restore sanity to our nation. This means embracing fiscal and economic sanity. Stop pricing hardworking Americans out of a good standard of living through inflationary borrow, print, and spending policies. And please embrace American energy independence. 